They called her Mother Gaia. Because while many of them had one child, she was the only one with many children. Her life harboring planet, Earth, was not handcrafted for one species, like the hundreds of them. She did not reveal herself to her own creations as their goddess, their mother. She did not bestow upon them the gifts of them, the wisdom and the technology that they had. She did not champion her creations in front of them. She did not rule nor even guide her children. She simply watched them and prayed for them with all the love a mother could. They called her Mother Gaia because they believed her to be soft and fragile, that she was as peaceful as she appeared to be, that she would fall under the slightest blow. They believed in strength, in battles of conquest, in the rule of the weak perish and the strong survive, and many who were not them, who would never be so powerful, were crushed underneath, and they saw Mother Gaia, soft, peaceful, fragile, their next target. They believed her weak creations to barely even be a triumph of battle. It would not even be a fight, but an execution. It was. It was theirs. From the blackness emerged silver metal. Streams of light and kinetic projectiles pierced through reality, sundering everything in their wake. The most extreme of planets, almost unfit for even them, were traversed by her children, without the need for any environmental protection, their skin already resistant to ultraviolet radiation, and their bodies able to adapt to nearly any temperature. Her children refused to die when cut, when stabbed, when shot, when eviscerated, and they fired back with supersonic blaze and high-powered radiation emitters that sliced through the most durable armour of them, and atomized the most hardy races created and spoiled by them. Her children danced around them with the grace of dying stars, their naturally evolved bodies spiked with adrenaline, and the desire to protect their mother, and tore them apart with claws, mandibles, tusks, horns, stingers, and fangs. As they retreated to the blackness, her children followed, their skins now grey with biological radiation reflectors and insulators, making them immune to the death of space. Their strength meant for gravity wells dozens of times stronger than those born of them, punching holes straight through battleships. And as they advanced through the worlds of them, Mother Gaia stood at the front, holding them, healing them, guiding them, fighting with them, for them, with all the love a mother could. They were gone. Gaia approached those that were not them, who were held under the heel by them no longer, who feared Gaia was one of them, but she was not. She held out her hand and held them close. She soothed their cries and crowned them with flowers, for she was their mother, and her love was theirs.